Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 29, and this is war number 11. One more war in the season. And we're going up against an alliance called Los Peratos. Uh, I have to admit, it's late, and I almost forgot about this war. Uh, so much going on. All right, let's uh, spectate. And, yep, the, the middle is already cleared. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh, he just got in here. Yep, he's fighting right now. All right, so we've got Silver Surfer on this node. Hit me, I dare you. And then that static defense. Uh, we've got Mysterio here. Ionized armor, power focus, hurt locker. He's always annoying. Um, okay, we got man thing there. Okay, we've got havoc. And then on path three, section two, we've got Modoc. And we've got Sentinel. And for the mini, we have Guardian. Hmm. Best defense. Okay. I'm actually wanting to bring in uh, Corvus. Maybe with Proxima. Yeah, I could... Uh, the first fight, he can do. Second fight, he can do. Get a charge there. Uh, if necessary, can do that Havoc fight. Get another charge there. Modoc, he can get a charge off of him. And if he doesn't get a charge off of that, uh, the Sentinel with that uh, best defense can get a charge off of that. And same thing with that Guardian. I would like to bring my uh, six-star rank three Corvus in, but he's in Alliance Quest, and Alliance Quest won't be done uh, in time. So if I do bring Corvus, it'll have to be my five-star. And let's see, Mini Boss Island here. Um, hmm. Claire could do that fight. Mr. Negative. Uh, if I bring Proxima and Corvus, then I don't really have a great option. Corvus can do that fight, though. And then you got Doom over here. Uh, preferably somebody with Human Torch would take that, but if I buffed up, uh, you know, boosted. Corvus can take that one. And then down here we've got um, Bishop Thing and Hit Monkey. Don't like taking those fights at all, so I usually do not. Um, but if I'm called upon, uh, if I do bring Corvus with Proxima, I could take that Hit Monkey uh, fight there. Yeah. Oh, and he took that uh, man thing, so I don't have to worry about that. So, yeah, I'm thinking that I will bring in Corvus. I think I'll bring in Corvus. Maybe with uh, Proxima uh, for the True Strike. For my second path, Modoc and that Sentinel. Okay, yeah. Now, if I do that, the third one I would bring in would have to be either Nick Fury, Warlock, Black Widow, Clairvoyant. Uh, I even thought about uh, bringing in Magneto, who can also do these two fights, and... Um, uh, let's see, over here, Nick Fury might be better, because Corvus can do all of these, so maybe Nick Fury might be the better option. In a pinch... 
he could also do that um, Black Widow Deadly Origins fight. Yeah. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to do. Bring in uh, Corvus, Proxima, and uh, Nick Fury. All right. So we'll be back with the fighting. All right. We're back. And this is the team I have chosen to go in here with. Yes, Corvus is returning to war. All right, and uh, I have in here my five-star Corvus. And there is a fight that is really spicy. And you're going to see the power of Corvus. All right, so first up, we've got Silver Surfer. And, of course, when I was looking at this, I looked at that static defense and all of that. And I remember that Corvus doesn't take any damage from shock. So that would make my life a whole lot easier. And uh, even though I wouldn't necessarily get a mission off of this fight, Corvus is still a good one for it. You know, boost up, and I do run suicides. So... Uh, Corvus is going to hit hard anyway. So I thought he was a very good option for this fight. So uh, since this is not a very, very long fight, uh, I tend to do uh, medium light medium. And I could also do a uh, medium light type of a combo. But that's usually when I want to try to get two special twos in uh, in one fight, which means it's a long fight. Now, I want you to see that I intentionally pushed him to a special three, followed it up with a special two. Now, I thought and had hoped that that special two would finish him off, but it didn't. So I took a little recoil damage. But you notice and you don't hear uh, a lot of people talk about it. Did you see that I did a power drain. That is one of Corvus's abilities on his special two. So you can push them to a special three, fire the special two and get that power drain. As long as they don't have anything that will prevent it. All right, so the next fight is Mysterio who is an annoying defender, but one of the things that Corvus does when he parries is he puts an armor break on them. So you armor break him and he is much easier to deal with. Okay, so you can see here, you know, I'm still baiting out, you know, his special one. Not that I had to bait it out. He was throwing it, you know, like it was going out of style. Okay, here we go, boom, boom. And we got him down. This time I finished him with the special two, didn't have to take the recoil damage and I got a mission. He's a tech. So now I have one mission. Just with one mission, Corvus hits so much harder. And now I'm going after another mission. Okay, you see how much uh, uh, energy I have. So I didn't move. Okay, and I waited. I waited until I had enough to reach that havoc. Because I didn't want anybody else taking that fight. And... Uh, I was going to ask if someone had another energy, but I think they might have gone to bed. But anyway, I waited. And here's another mission that I could get. Now, Havoc is a very difficult defender if you don't have the proper um, counter to him. Now, Corvus isn't really a good counter for Havoc. Uh... What you want to do, you know, you can go in there, of course, with his brother or himself, and they're immune to each other's powers. Uh, you can go in with someone that has an armor up, or you can go in there with someone who does power drain. Corvus doesn't do any of that. He's not immune. He doesn't have an armor up, and he can't power drain except on that special two. So my thought here was let me just try to DPS him down. Try to do as much damage as I can as fast as I can. Okay, and look, it's going great. 
all right you see i'm just blocking him because i didn't want that extra damage okay and then boom got hit with the plasma detonate i'm like oh no okay that was unblockable i gotta evade that i'm down to four charges i cannot take another blocked hit okay at this point another blocked hit and i'm dead all right and i don't want to get hit with his special one and we fired off that special one hail mary and got him down that is the power of corvus and his immortality somebody else would have been dead there that was a knockout but corvus cannot die as long as he has charges and i was down to four charges all that he would have had to have done would have hit my block i couldn't even parry and my charges would have been gone and i would have died so that was really close i probably won't do that again uh it was way closer than i had uh planned for it to be i thought i would get him down far quicker than uh i did but anyway we got him down we got another mission and corvus is in great shape uh if i need him uh for later uh, now, I could have also done that fight and used an invulnerability boost just, you know, for a little safety. Uh, if I'm going to do something like that again, I might do that. But I'm probably not going to do that again. That that caused uh, a lot of stress on me. And I I think I aged a little bit after that fight. You know, because, again, Corvus was not a great matchup for that fight but i wanted that um mission and if i had died there i don't know if i would have been able to face my lines all right so here we go and we got the uh auto block boom now we got three missions just like that and true strike is up so now i don't have to worry about his auto block anymore now i can just go in here we go boom boom look at this just killing him that's why I bought Proxima Midnight with me. She has a synergy that if you knock them down after they've auto-blocked or evaded, you get a true strike and you're good from that point on. All right. Now, I already have the tech. The only one that I don't have at this point is the Avenger. But you see that best defense? Don't have to worry about that. No best defense. They're not going to evade. I've got my true strike up. So this is a pretty uh, quick and easy fight. Medium light mediums. Uh, this is where I learned, really, uh, to do medium light medium attacks because against Sentinel, that's how you can avoid giving him too many of those analysis charges, uh, which just makes the fight that much longer. So do medium light medium avoid doing two consecutive uh, attacks in a row or, or movements in a row and you're good. All right, so that was it for my participation in this war. Uh, this time we didn't die. All right, so after a brief intermission, you can see that they had already cleared out mini boss island and the boss, all right? So we'll be right back and you will find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, I still think we're pretty locked into Platinum 4, uh, but it's nice to win wars. So that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. How did you like that, war that uh, fight with uh, Corvus and Havoc? Take care, and you all have a blessed day. Thank you.